Math is hard, but it's not going away anytime soon. Even if we got rid of math, the world would just fall apart, and there would be aftermath. 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 Do you need to know Pythagorean theorem? No. I mean, someone needs to know it if you want to live under a roof. Even if you want to live in a box, someone needs to know Pythagorean theorem. Haters will say it's a useless theorem, but personally, I like it when my planes land. Yes, it's about triangles, but not just any. Right triangles only. Which is kind of racist, actually. It's basically right supremacy. Come on, man, I'm on the guest list. I'm not saying all right angles are racist, but there are a whole lot of them in a swastika. I'm sorry, are our kids gonna watch this? So a right triangle has two legs, and just like a human, most often one leg is shorter than the other. For some, it's more noticeable. So you got two legs. Let's call them A and B. The length of the ground between your feet, that's C. I can tell you what C is, but only if I know the length of both your legs and if you're standing with them 90 degrees apart, which is very uncomfortable and probably bad for your groin. Ouch! That's Pythagorean theorem. Pythagoras probably didn't come up with the theorem on his own. There was a rumor he learned it on a trip to Egypt, which, gee, I wonder what he saw there. Pyramids? You know, they, they, they made, they have the, the pyramids. So yeah, the theorem was probably stolen from Africans, just like rock and roll or vibranium. Vibranium was definitely stolen from Africans. You saw Black Panther. Actually, the first written evidence of the theorem was found in India. And people say, well, Sammy, you just say that because you're Indian. And I'm just like, I'm not Indian. I once had a professor say, so you'd be surprised to know that the first proof of the theorem actually came from China. And I was just like, that doesn't surprise me at all. It's just like everything else. Pythagorean's theorem was made in China. Some even say he stole it from his own students. Whose ever theorem it was, Pythagoras was an interesting dude. He had his own cult. Granted, it was 6th century BC when having a cult was easier. People were just dumber. Or maybe not. I mean, it was a math cult. We still have cults in today's society, but none of them are good at math. So the Pythags had some crazy rules. To join his cult, you had to take a vow of silence for five years. Can I talk yet? Restart time. Oh, Restart again. He always put on his right shoe first, but he washed his left foot first. He was a vegetarian that didn't eat beans. The man was a contradiction. Ow. He was the exact kind of lunatic that would get credit for a huge theorem. But the theorem itself is awesome and really easy to remember. May I? Okay, so you have ABC, like the alphabet, you know ABC, easy as one, two, three. You know the alphabet, right? Okay, so uh, it's an equation, so the equal sign has to go somewhere, so let's put that here. And then it involves addition, so you have to have a plus sign, let's put that here. And then the last thing you just have to remember is that this is all for squares. So you just square each term. And that's exactly how I taught it in my class of sixth graders. It's also why I got fired, but. I had to leave my teaching job. I'm not supposed to talk about this publicly, but there was another teacher at the school who had a crush on me, but she had a husband. It was a love triangle and it was not right. <laughs> but she was a cutie and so was he. When can a normal person actually use this theorem? Great question, probably never. I mean, maybe if you're buying a TV and they gave you the diagonal length and you wanna know if it fits in your shelf, sure, but you'd have to already know the height or width, so why would that happen, you know what I'm saying? Math textbooks love to pretend like the theorem is actually useful. If Jane is three miles west of you and Bob is four miles north, how many miles between them? First of all, I don't have any friends named Jane or Bob. This isn't the 20s. And it's none of my business how far apart they are from each other. That's their business. What am I stalking them? We all have GPS. And the GPS works because someone knows Pythagorean theorem. So why then does the education system make it seem like triangles are so important? Two words, 
the Illuminati. The Illuminati wants to establish a rule of threes so that everybody thinks in triplets. But three is an inherently unstable number. It's odd. Think about it. Third wheel, love triangle, three's a crowd. Three is chaos. And as long as they can keep their chaos intact, they can maintain their world order. It's easy as one, two, three. Menage a trois? That never ends well. Trust me. It cost me my job. Also, I stole some mugs from the teacher's lounge. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I keep it a hundred. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sammy, you're cheating. Alex, look. Alex, look back. Alex, look at Sammy. Alex, look back. <laughs> that was so funny. That was so funny. <laughs>